I bet you thought I couldn't make it. I bet you thought that I was never gonna pick up this the series again. Well, we're finally on issue three of Mother of Madness. God have mercy on all of us. So just to recap, for those of you who don't know the story so far, there is a girl who gets superpowers while she's on her period. She's also a mother. Her abusive ex, who was a druggie, comes back. He steals her child from her. Uh, and there's a supervillain who wants to be the perfect woman or something, but also hates women. It kind of doesn't make any sense. And here we are with another psychedelic uh, cover for issue three. We got some shrooms, which I'm sure the writers were taking when they were writing this. And we even got some NPCs in the background, which I'm sure represent uh, the people at Image who approved of this. But let's get straight into the comic. So, he, he brought her child to the villain. This seems to be a snag in Stranger Danger. I went with a close family member, my biological father, but he took me to a stranger involved in experimental pharmaceuticals as well as human trafficking. Yeah, that's how an eight-year-old boy talks. What a smart boy! May I ask how you know about the human trafficking? And he points at the coffee mug and it says world's best human trafficker. Do you know why I'm trying to help all these women, Billy? Are you trying for world domination, like in the action movies, which, while enjoyable, are thinly disguised CIA propaganda? What the f- are you talking about? No, I am not out for world domination or to change anything about the system, really. I like things just the way they are. What the fuck is going on? We got, like, a girl with invisible skin. This girl, I mean, I guess this girl doesn't really have anything wrong with her. Her hair is just defying gravity. And this girl is jacked! And then we pop over to here. These are the coordinates I got from the code I cracked out of Mr. Peanut. I know I'm low in my cycle, and I've looked better, but Mr. Peanut said the meeting places changed every week or so, so it was now or never. Despite the fact that I'm far from my time of superpowered month, let me clarify. Oh god, here we go. Fucking... Deadpool knockoff. I've come for blood. Stop it. Right, she finds mushrooms glowing sinister, confusingly cultivated mushrooms. Is the Lucille Caldwell, billionaire CEO Lucille Caldwell, who got her start as the only survivor of the Mushroom Risotto Massacre. Yeah, that was another story in issue two that was kind of fucking pointless, but they just threw it in there because they were like, ah, we gotta set up. We gotta set up her backstory, even though it's kind of unnecessary. I have to get to Billy, and then she gets fucking pistol whipped by some random guy. Of course, she has to be wearing a red hat. Need help. Have coordinates from her suit, thanks to... Okay, go. Come on, mom's little helpers. Time for some mayhem. So she's, like, calling the Avengers, whatever. The problem with dumping a henchman's body in front of the police station is that I become aware of that all information he knew is now compromised. So while you may have gone to the original meeting place, I made sure said meeting was elsewhere. Hello, Maya. I'm Lucille Caldwell. Yeah, yeah, we know! I see you found my own sad little tragic backstory, the accidental deaths that turned me into a millionaire overnight. Why are you doing this? You're a woman! <laughs> Why are you doing this? You're a woman! Women aren't supposed to be evil! Oh my god! Why are there so many TEXT BUBBLES! I know the pressures on women to be fair and fit and oh so pretty, the need to be a CEO and stay at home mom, the cool girl and hashtag cool boss and trad wife all at the same time. I know how they'll pay whatever it costs to live that dream. The world is sick, everyone's struggling, everyone anxious, everyone longing to be the glamorous cover girl or the buff action hero. That's actually an interesting take on uh, how society sees women these days, because it is kind of going both ways, right? You you're have expectations on both sides, you know? No matter these positivity and acceptance movements, the people still want what they've always wanted, to fit in. To do what they're told, to be secure and contented being what society tells them to be. And I can sell it to them. 
What resource is more renewable, more eternal than human insecurity? I can't afford to have you playing Little Miss Popular showing people it's okay to be a freak. She's doing the same thing. <laughs> Shmaya is also a villain in this because she's doing the same thing. She also wants to be super popular and she wants people to be like her because they're insecure. Once I've corrected and patented the powers in your blood, I'll be perfect and powerful. No man can control me and no woman can challenge me. After all, I had to be more than human. No emotions to weaken me, no attachments to slow me down, but you wanted it but you wanted a child. That's an attachment. What <laughs> What are you talking about? This is contradicting everything from the previous issue. I had to become better than better, become perfect. Speaking of, I think you already know I remade my mate, Harvey. He's the ideal man now. Strong, silent, chiseled, hung, competitive, angry, ambitious, cold, an absolute James Bond. I even had his tear ducts removed. You're heartless, selling women their own misery back to them so you can tout gender equality on the Fortune 500. With your help, I'm going to harvest what makes mom so very special. Whatever chemicals soaked into your flesh and bones down in your parents' laboratory, that's what I'm going to take from you. And if you say no, then I'm afraid I'll be forced to take it from your son. But he doesn't, he's not even a girl. What do you- <laughs> Indeed, I was the one funding your parents' research. What an unnecessary plot twist. The discoveries in your parents' lab were meant to grant me that perfection. The chemicals that give you super strength were once diet pills. The prehensive pubes were to rid the body of unsanitary hair. The substances that make you turn invisible were once skin whiteners. The compounds that relax you into goo when you're happy were mood altering to make women cheerful, docile, com Client at all times. Why would your parents be working on any of that stuff? This isn't adding up very well. And now they're going to live on in me. I'm going to be the perfect woman. You don't have to do this. Once I've got your DNA, I'll make my own picture-perfect family. Flawless in every way. I thought you said you didn't want any attachments! You don't have to make the perfect the enemy of the everything. What does that mean? Just accept that you're imperfect, that you're human. Not if I market a pill for that. And then she takes a pill that she made instantly. What do you think? Perfection? Too punny? Wrong. Something wrong. <laughs> and then she turns into a monster. Big twist. Yeah, I'm so shocked. What happened? You're finally the perfect woman. A demon. <laughs> the perfect woman is a made-up campfire boogeyman that keeps us on our toes and doesn't fucking exist. I'm too spent to run, Billy. I want you to head for the elevators and get out of here. When you're safe, tell Benny where I am. I had love given and received. I loved my parents and Tiff and Billy, Benny and Boone. Blah, 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 blah. But I learned to control my powers because I had learned to love who I am, fuck ups and all. Okay, so that's that's the message. Love yourself more. That'll solve all your problems. Just just be in love with being a piece of sh Don't try don't strive to be anything better because you'll only turn into a monster. That's the only way <laughs> that you'll turn into a monster is by striving to be better. Not by being egotistical and arrogant. That won't turn you into a monster. No, 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 no. That's the good, that's the good direction to go in. The other direction, striving to be better than who you are, that's the bad direction. Don't go there. Look, I understand <laughs> that trying to be perfect all the time is going to, and in failure. I know that some people can get really obsessed with the idea of perfection, but you also shouldn't give up in trying to be a better person. You shouldn't give up in like trying to better yourself or better a talent. Cause like I said, Maya is not, it's not a good character. Throughout this series, she has been quite villainous and very selfish at times. Okay, so Benny comes in. Are you all the woman that she devil has been trafficking, kidnapping us for our genes, harvesting cells, from prettiest and smartest and goddamn blah 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 hellbent on making herself superior. That's way better than sex trafficking. I, I'd rather have that happen to me than me being raped for the rest of my life. Security robots, come get rid of this human cargo. I'll get more soon enough. Harvey, you made Billy cry. 
I was a shitty person, a shitty, shitty person. What? They're getting into a slap fight, of course. Fucking rolling up his sleeves just to, to slap him a little bit. I really did go to therapy and I just want to be vulnerable sometimes. Your needs are valid, but now is not the time. Shut up. We've come to help your mama, Billy Boy. Including Jesus. Let's have a bet. Your imperfection versus my power. And the winner takes Billy. After all, he has your genes and your love and more. He could be the perfect child short of cloning myself. Mom, Billy, I'm just going to let you be taken by this fucking dragon woman. Oh, okay, we got more text. Thanks! For all that, you still weren't enough. Crazy, weak, used up. Blah, 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 blah. More than human. Blah, 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 blah. So many gifts taken for granted. Blah, 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 blah. Feminism. More than a body or a brain. I'm a woman. I'm a mother. I'm my I'm mom. Blah. Cells, genes, chemicals, blood. I'm stronger than everything you think I'm made of. Than anything you think you can use to define me. I am in charge of my body, mind, and soul. I bring my powers at will. Okay, thank you, Deus S. Makaga. She literally has no weaknesses. She can just activate her powers whenever she wants. Cool. Who's your mom now? Wow, this is so stupid! Oh, she turns back to normal. Oh, well, I guess I guess the pill wasn't that bad. Jeez. Harvey, I just don't see what I did wrong. Billy? Be right back, Mom. Wait! Mom, from her office, a memento mori mushroom. Lucille bred them, experimented with them, and harvest what's in them to use on us. They're where her chemicals come from. Who cares? Hope you like the taste of your own medicine. I saved you, you ungrateful little... And then she kicks her out the window because dramatic, I guess. First, there were sirens and ambulances and cops and firefighters and journalists and news vans, protesters, activists, conspiracy theorists, merchandisers. Second, there was Benny setting up the GoFundMe for our medical bills. <laughs> Fucking your medical bills? You just killed a woman! Third, there was calling out of work while I healed up. Fourth, Tiff came home from the hospital. And fifth, something strange happened. There should be more of us, I think. A mom in every city? Hey, knock it off. Remember, in the end, what it took was love. Oh yeah, all women have superpowers so long as they love, I guess. Benny and I went on a date. So cult celebrity status as long as you keep the mask on with product endorsements and big money if you wanted. Imagine having an actual superhero promote your merchandise. Tell me more, Benny. Tell me more about how wonderful you and my son are. He He's literally talking about you! I think it's finally time to reprioritize. And while there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Some consumptions are more ethical than others. Oh yeah, capitalism is okay when I profit from it. Everyone else just shouldn't profit from it. Well, of course, I'm sorry to lose you, but I do appreciate you saying your piece in person, Maya. Not a lot of women show the gumption and principle you have. Oh, excuse, Maya, I've got to take this. Uncle Don. I told you not to call me here, boy. I'm the one paying for your damn lawyers. Christ, I should have never sent you to keep an eye on Maya in that bu Really? Really? Why is this so unnecessarily, like, tangled in into each other? Yeah, the boss man is the one who sent her fucking abusive ex. Let's begin something better together. Uh, okay, sure, there's work to get done, but after all, that's what moms do. And then she wakes up in the sewers. Is that it? Oh my god, that's actually it? That's it? That's how it ends? My god. This sucked. I mean, this was so boring and predictable. And you gotta love how they leave it open-ended, right? Like, the villain is still alive and still out there, and now we found out that Don, of course, anyone named fucking Donald, <laughs> is gonna be a villain in this comic series. Their mother didn't even like Donald Duck! But we find out that her previous boss, Don, was also working with Lucille. Uh, unnecessary plot twist, just like all the other unnecessary plot twists. Like, they hold little to no weight in the actual story. Do people know how plot twists work? Should I, like, explain? Because I think that people just, like, throw in little surprises or random connections here and there just because. The abusive ex was... You barely even needed the abusive ex! The father of her son was just an unnecessary character in general. He didn't need to be in the story! And her boss working 
for Lucille so unnecessary? Doesn't need to be there at all. Why does him working with Lucille change anything about the story? I guess the idea of her parents like working, doing experiments to sell very vain products to women kind of reveals that they were bad people, but she, I mean, she still likes her parents. She doesn't have to throw any of her own values into question from that reveal, so it holds no weight also. That's trying to push a message, be morally superior, while also being like a parody Deadpool superhero comic, and none of the jokes are funny. And of course, the first two issues are super long, and then the third issue is like, what, half the length? So fucking crazy. They really just like wrapped this up as soon as possible, probably because it wasn't selling. And I can see why it's not selling, because it sucks. This is probably the worst comic series I've ever read in my life. Uh, you see, you, you people you, who clicked on this video, you're smarter because you decided not to read this comic, but rather to just have somebody else read it for you and tell you what you're missing, which ain't much. I'd rather be on the other side of the screen right now. I'd rather be in your shoes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave your own thoughts down below in the comments section. You think Amelia Clark should keep on writing comics? You think that this is, this should have been her career choice. <laughs> She's really good at this. Like the video if you did enjoy, subscribe for more videos. I'll do more celebrity comics, but uh, I do want to get to reviews of stuff that I actually like at some point. Until then guys, see you next time. Bye! Program restart.